All right, this is gonna be the eight minute install of Manage Comics. Now, what we're going to do is we're gonna start out with a blank Shopify store. So this Shopify store is completely blank. Um, as you can see here, this is just the default Dawn theme. Uh, I've done nothing. I haven't configured the settings or anything. I don't even have any products or any customers in this store. So this store is as clean as a store can be. Uh, and this is going to show you that with nothing, I can start from the ground up and I'm going to install Manage Comics. I'm going to add some products to the store through Manage Comics. I'm going to add a customer through Shopify and then I'll connect that customer to Manage Comics and I'm going to pull some, uh, get some books onto his list. So in eight minutes or less, I will get all that done. I'm thinking I can get this done in probably six, but let's find out for sure. So the very first thing we're going to do is I will start a time timer. So I'm going to have a stopwatch, which is going to start in three, two, one now. So here we go. We are on our way. The very first thing I'm going to do is click on apps and I'm going to customize my store. So I'm going to select customize my store, which is a green button in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to type in manage comics. So we have manage comics to subscriptions comes here. I can take my time and take a look at what manage comics to subscriptions is. Uh, I can read some of the five star reviews we have and I will go ahead and add the app. So from here, uh, we can see the um, permissions it's going to ask me to, to add. So I'm going to go ahead and approve those permissions and I will install the app. Uh, it's just going to tell me that I've got 10, 10 free days, uh, 3000 plus item catalog updated monthly for me, all that good stuff. And I'm going to approve the $80 cost, which is a bargain at tw twice the price the amount of things it does like adding new products to the, the system. It's amazing. So I'm going to approve that and I will start my 10 day trial. So the very first thing that happens is I go to a settings page and from here I can, uh, I'm going to choose my theme, which is Dawn. I'm going to make sure that the button text on my subscribe button will be subscribed to series. And I'm just going to, you know what? I'm going to change the text color to be white. See, I said I was going to configure it. I'm going to change my button color to be that gray and I'll change my border color to be the same. And then when you mouse over it, I think I want it to be white and I'm going to go with uh, I'd like a, a nice blue. So I'll go with a bright blue and I'll copy that color and put it under the border. So now when I mouse over, it's a bright blue and normally it's a gray. That looks pretty good to me. I click save. And a couple seconds later, Manage Comics is now set up in my store. So I'm going to go back to Shopify and on online store, I'll navigate to navigation. And I'm going to add in my main menu here. I can add a new menu item and I'll look for pages. Oh, my page hasn't been created yet. I may be too fast. Manage Comics is still working in its magic in the background. Um, so let me go here and just make sure that everything, the, the problem with, oh, I know what's gone on. I probably have to refresh Shopify itself. Um, pages. There it is. Yeah. JavaScript caches a lot of things. So sometimes it takes a couple seconds for that. Man, I probably lost 30 seconds there. But as of now, hey, I have subscriptions built into my store. So already we have subscriptions added. We have configured things. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to check in a few products. So I will just to create some products on my store. I'm going to throw in that and we'll say, give me one copy, nah, three copies and I'll add it. 
and I will add a let's add a two copies of that graphic novel and I'm gonna add let's say the latest issue of Savage Avengers. So I'm going to add three copies of Batman Superman's World Finest, one Galaxy's, two Galaxy's Prettiest Star, and one Savage Avengers. We're gonna go ahead and click next, next, next. Confirm that pull, which is really just confirming that I'm bringing that in. Uh, and within a couple minutes, we'll start to see these products uh, develop. Now, you'll notice the inventory is zero. Um, that's because what Shopify does is it creates all the products first and then it goes back and adds the inventory afterwards. So on my front end, if I go to catalog, I'm going to see some products. Now, if I've configured this, that's funny. It takes a couple seconds for the, uh, for the, the stock to get put through here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I will grab product form buttons and I'm going to go to settings. And I'm going to change this to the product form buttons, which is the, the class here. And when I refresh this in theory, my subscribe to series is now there. So I've already configured also subscribe to series for new products when they're added. Now, last thing, let us add a customer. So in Shopify, we're going to add customers Add our first customer and I'll go Brian our side. Hey, that's me, Brian at managecomics.com. So we're going to create Brian as a customer. And then in manage comics itself, this could take a second or so, but I'm going to create a subscription for a new customer. And that's going to be look at that. He's there, Brian Garside. So I'm going to create a subscription for favorite superhero Nightwing and we'll subscribe him to Nightwing cover A's. We're going to close this out. So Brian now gets Nightwing. Uh, and if I look at all subscriptions, I'm going to see Nightwing and there he is. Um, last thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to set up my email campaigns. Um, so my emails right now look like managed comics, but I would like to change my logo. I'll right click on this logo and copy image address. And in here, I'm going to, oh, in here, I'm going to paste my image address and I'll change my logo. So it takes your button colors for this, but I'm going to make it a little bit darker. Uh, I kind of like that is my, my background. Actually my background, I think on the site is black. So let's make it black. So emails, uh, come from, uh, that's my email address. That's my store name. I'll save that. And now if I go ahead and take a look at a customer email, I'm going to see it with my logo and everything. So that's it. I am at seven minutes and 35 seconds, and we are configured with Manage Comics 2.0 on a website. So it took less than eight minutes, and uh, I'm pretty happy with the results. And there's a lot of things we can do to fine tune this. Um, we can get into the code and, and start to edit kind of where the, uh, the kind of um, container is. Um, oh, one last thing I should have done and we'll take a couple seconds. And this is more of a, a thing that you should do um, by default, but it's especially necessary with managed comics. Accounts are required. So that um, takes our eight minutes to a close. Not bad. I've spent eight minutes doing worse things, that's for sure. <laughs>